Today we're taking a look at the Paladin W04 Mini PC running the AMD Ryzen 5600H CPU with the RX Vega 7 iGPU. It's got 16 gigabytes of DDR4 3200 mega transfers per second memory and a 512 gigabyte NVMe SSD all in this little package. Thanks to Peladin for sending this one over for us to take a look at. Mini PCs are really catching on these days. Lots of people are interested in them and they're usually a pretty good value versus buying older off-lease enterprise PCs. PCs on eBay or something like that. A lot of people do prefer buying nicer, newer mini PCs, especially with better I.O., to use either as a basic desktop, an HD PC that might be hidden away in an entertainment center in your living room, or to even power a home lab, like what I'll probably end up doing with this one. This version of the W04 features some solid CPU performance from that 5600H, in part thanks to the power draw allowance up to about 55 watts under load from what I saw, as well as the decent cooling that's actually built into this unit. This mini PC isn't actually the slimmest one that I've taken a look at, but they do make use of those extra few millimeters quite well in my opinion. In looking at this and taking it apart, the cooling solution definitely can pull in a pretty good amount of air, which is really going to help keep the clock speed up on the CPU and iGPU, and we also have some pretty good I.O. selection. Working inside of the PC is also relatively easy since we do have a little extra space compared to some of those really small mini PCs. If you want to swap the Wi-Fi card, the SSD, or the fan or something, you should have plenty of room to work in here. As far as the CPU performance goes though, I did want to run Cinebench R23, ran it about three times to get an average. Looking at the multi-core scores, we're looking at about 8,720 points, and the single core average being about 1,368 points. Not bad in my opinion, considering the multi-core testing showed a max power draw of about 56 watts when measuring from my kilowatt meter. I did want to test out some gaming, so I did run that RX Vega 7 in this guy through Time Spy, and I saw an average overall score of about 998 points, with the GPU averaging about 871 points, and the CPU averaging 5,822 points. Not bad for an older gen iGPU, in my opinion. I did actually want to check out some basic gaming, so I actually ran Dota 2 at 1080p low, and it was a relatively smooth enough experience. Smooth enough, in fact, for a dire victory, which was quite nice. I did want to test out how the solid state performed as well, so I ran Crystal Disk Mark 8 and got an average sequential read speed of about 3,306 megabytes per second, with an average sequential write speed of about 2,651 megabytes per second. In terms of the all-around performance, I think this is a solid, budget-friendly option. In looking at the I.O. on this, I think we have a pretty good selection. Looking at the front side of the W04, we have two USB 3.2 Type-A ports, one USB-C port that does have display out capability, and a 3.5mm combined audio jack if you still want use one of those devices. As for the rear side I.O., we have a 2.5 gigabit per second LAN port, as well as a 1 gigabit per second LAN port, which is kind of nifty, especially if you're going to set this up as a home lab. As for video outputs on the back side, we have an HDMI 2.0 port, as well as a DisplayPort 1.4 port. We've got two USB Type-A ports for connecting accessories. This mini PC is also coming with a Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.2 card. As for the operating system, this PC is shipping with Windows 11 24H2 Pro activated. I definitely like that, and I was able to run that OOB NRE type command, so I didn't have to go through the Windows 11 online setup. As far as the way that I use mini PCs, I do typically put them on my desk because they don't take up a whole lot of space, and I actually like looking at them. They're nice, small, and neat, so long as you manage all your cables, but you do get an included mount with this mini PC, so you could potentially wall mount it or mount it on the backside of a monitor or a display, something like that, if you wanted to totally hide the computer and your cabling connections. As you undoubtedly saw, this is a pretty small mini PC. As for the actual specs on its dimensions, we're looking at 128mm by 128mm by about 52mm tall. It weighs in at about 1.1 pounds, so it really is quite small. If you're interested in buying one of these for desktop usage, maybe display or digital signage usage, or maybe you want to build a home lab off of it, 
like I'm probably going to end up doing, this unit is coming in at about 280 bucks MSRP. But you might be able to get some coupons, and it's probably going to go on sale now and then. So definitely take a look. I'll leave an affiliate link in the description below so you can check out current pricing and availability on this one. So yeah, I would say overall, this is a really solid mini PC. I think the value is definitely there for light desktop usage, digital signage, maybe HTPC usage, and home lab usage. I'm going to end up probably putting Proxmox on this, upgrading the system memory, and then turning it into a small virtualization lab. I think it's going to be a neat project, so if you're interested in following that, or if you want to see any more gaming or home lab videos, definitely consider getting subscribed to the channel. If you got any value out of this one, I would super appreciate it if you could smash that like button for the algorithm. Until next time, keep on gaming and home labbing.